Right now, Aspira is focused on providing vaccine to the community. We offer the Pfizer vaccine brought to you by the state. We are a premier provider in Sussex County because we were identified as a place that's easily accessible, we're well run, and we have a well polished system that gets patients in and out the door safely. We're also open to the public and we follow all state guidelines when it comes to administering the vaccine. It's a very small injection and of course many people complain that they have a little bit of arm soreness or a little bit of arm pain when they get the vaccine. That's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. It's part of the process. It is an mRNA molecule, which is a very small segment of DNA-like molecule. Once it enters your body, that goes into a cell, and the mRNA tells your ribosomes to make a protein called the spike protein. The spike protein is located on the outside of the virus. It's how your immune system recognizes the virus, identifies it as an intruder, and then attacks it to get the viral infection down in your body and keep you from being clinically ill. The Pfizer vaccine as an mRNA molecule is very clean in producing the specific protein to elicit that immune response that's gonna keep you and your family protected. It is one dose on day one, followed by a second dose 21 days later. Because there has been so much concern and panic around getting the second dose, public health officials have looked at how long you can go before getting the second dose since it is sometimes delayed. They have shown that you can wait up to 42 days, in other words, six weeks, and still get that boost in immunity where you're enhancing your immune response. It's important to note too, that one dose will actually give you 50 to 83% immunity, which is very good. By comparison, the flu vaccine, 45 to 55% immunity on a given year based upon the strains. One of the questions we get all the time is, can you transmit COVID after you get the vaccine. We find that even though you are inoculated and safe for the most part from the vaccine, you could come in contact with viral particles that are active that can be held in your nose or other oral cavities and then expelled out with a sneeze or a cough. Therefore, while it doesn't affect you, it can infect other people nearby you that aren't vaccinated. We're still using hand washing and mask wearing to keep the public safe. Until there's a larger degree of vaccination in the public, this is the safest method. Another question we get is, can the vaccine cause the virus? And the answer is no. The mRNA that goes in your cell is very small and creates only that outside protein that your immune system identifies. It doesn't create more viral particles. It doesn't have the ability to create more viral particles. It's just using that outside protein to let your immune system know that an intruder is there and it should attack that. So we are using your own immune system to fight off this very deadly disease.